it ended with a close finish, as we will see in this report. 17 canoes started the 10-mile run down the Nipigon River in the first annual Great Nipigon River Canoe Challenge. From the start at Alexander's Landing, there were three entries in the mixed category, 14 in men's recreational with one racing canoe. As expected, Rusty Rustenberg of Nipigon and Mark Robbins of Armstrong, both conservation officers, pedaled their racing canoe to victory. Their winning time, 2 hours, 12 minutes. But Kurt Prostansky of Nipigon and Mike Yakimovich of Thunder Bay, first in the recreational category, finished only a minute off the pace. Yes, on the lake we were, we were, we were catching up to him, but then we lost him again. It's just the conditions of the, the lake that was slowed us down. With the winds and waves on uh, Lake Helen today, having a recreational boat, did that uh, give you somewhat of an advantage over the racing canoe? Oh, it's hard to tell. I think we just came around that point and really gave it right from there on. And, uh, we tried to catch up to them when they were a good half mile ahead of us once we hit the lake. And uh, we caught up to within a couple hundred yards of them, but uh, once they hit the fast water, they took off on us again. Mark Robbins in the racing canoe said the wind and waves on Lake Helen were a definite problem. Uh, for us, it uh, created a bit of a problem. We were taking water on. We don't have very high gunnels on the canoe, so uh, we were filling up quite quickly. First across the finish line in the mixed category were the husband and wife team of Kathy Frost and Glenn Kennedy. Their time, two hours, 36 minutes. And Marcia, that's all for sports. Thank you, John. Well, it was 